kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. Your mom must be so mad at you. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid. Sideshow by the seashore. Walk me through your act. What, what, what are what's some stuff that you do? Well, uh, first I come out and I do what I call surrealist magic. Um, I come out with a glove on and it's stuffed with five or two extra fingers, so it looks like I have a full hand, a mallet, and a metal chair. I put the chair down and put my hand down. So I come out and I bang it once and look at the audience see if there's a reaction. Do it again and the third time, do everything in threes. Then I reveal the hand. Mm -hmm. And then I have a little blow horn that I do. All the magic that I do in my act is uh, revolved around stories that fit my hands. I don't just do magic tricks to do magic tricks. It has to do something that has to do with the life that has lobster qualities. Do you not like that term, like lobster person? The only thing I don't like about the like I call myself the black scorpion because yeah. of Grady Styles. Yes. So I'm trying to create a new mold. You know, as the black scorpion, but I am a lobster boy. I am not the lobster boy. Mm -hmm. I know this is the first time I've ever uh, cooked anything that I've seen alive before. Oh, okay. Well, it's not a big deal. They're basically just you know large um, ocean uh, cockroaches, but they uh, they taste delicious. Look at that guy right there. Yeah. When I was nine years old, I was at the Nassau County fair over at the Nassau Coliseum and there's a guy outside barking come see the lobster boy yeah he doesn't have hands he actually has claws and I was enamored by this I I, I felt I had to go see it my mom said no it's, it's just people in costumes it's not a real lobster person and I believed her until I'm reading the biography of Grady Stiles Merman the Barker a little passage in the book and he was saying how he was at the Nassau Coliseum with Grady Stiles and then uh, about a week later, Grace uh, was shot and killed, thus making it impossible for, for me to ever see him. Now, you know, almost 20 years later, here you are in, in our house, and we're cooking lobsters. Yeah. And, Mom, it's not people in costumes. They're not gloves. Basically, I was born this way. This mm -hmm. is what I've always known. So yeah. people ask me, does it hurt? Like, it doesn't hurt any more than someone else's hands. Um, you're saying it's easier for you to hold a joint. Is that true? No, no, I'm just saying, how many oh. people have you seen hold a joint like that? I've never. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But I like to be like the Dave Chappelle of the freak shows that people want to smoke out with me. It's like this game time, Black. Yeah? Yeah. Uncle Petey? You're, you're not going to pull a uh, furlong on me, are you? <laughs> Do okay. we put them in the same time? We're going to put them in right, one right after another because okay. we want them to cook even. Okay. See you, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. You got it. Oh, get in your fucker. Get in your fucker. That's how I'm going to end up going out. Nice and dumb. Alright, 
So how did you come up with the idea for an American statue? You're the first person to ask me that. Yeah? I appreciate that. Well, I'm interested because I think you're doing a hell of a job. I really enjoy it. I'm a fan. Thank you so much. I'm a big fan of yours too. So here's the thing. I love traveling. I don't know if you're familiar with On the Road with Charles Coyle. Yeah. Ever since I was a little kid, I just loved that fucking show. So he's just traveling around talking to people. And I'm like, this is the best fucking job in the world. Like, I want to do that. I was in um, Burbank, California. We go to what turns out to be the High End Gallery, which ended up being the first episode of American Bad Days. That guy had pictures of Grady Styles Jr. fondling some girls' boobs. <laughs> you know, that's a request that I get a lot. Um, girls, girls will come up to me and ask me if they can get a picture of me grabbing the boobs, mm -hmm. which is the weirdest thing. How does that work out for you? You like that? Yeah. Um, I like you piss me off. I, I, I'm a fan of boobs. You know, people have interesting questions or interesting thoughts about my hands. Like I could do a whole, you know, blue show. I think on the second knuckle. I would like to make my hands into meritoids, as we call them back in Texas. Because you've got so many different tools here. You've got the second knuckle. You know, and you can call it the flipper. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can do that. And you got the prison one from behind, if need be, you know. And you've got just the normal one that's almost like, you know, just the normal male part. Mm -hmm. I can't share them with everybody, but if I could make marital aids, then, you know, sell them, make some money off of them, and buy a house, so I can live comfortably while other people enjoy. While well, other people live comfortably. Yeah. Or uncomfortably. I saw, I saw the, uh, yeah. the prison one. The, it was good. Yeah, you fucking eat house them. Yeah. <laughs> From Texas, man, we eat. Well, Grady and Uncle Pete have been eating, and that's about all. From beautiful Melbourne, Long Island, here at my parents' house with Black Scorpion. Black, thank you so much. Thank you.